Well, hello there. This is week two of the 50 week challenge of taking a prompt a week and creating a collage with that prompt. Don't forget that the download for all 50 of these prompt tickets is located in the description box below. So you can print them out if you want to or have access to the list. You can write down those prompts and just write them in next to your collage when you're done, whatever you are comfortable with doing. This time I am taking these dividers and cutting off the top and just using the base as a as the substrate. Now I want to bring your attention back to this original collage that I did. The paint chip is right here, this pink one. It looked something like this. This came from a hardware store. Um, I just grabbed a couple of colors to play with. And when you have something like a paint chip, obviously color is probably the most important part of this entire collage. This paint chip is pink, therefore I was, I was looking for other things that were also pink to kind of highlight that. So this guy is actually the focal point of the entire collage. And he is, the layer of this piece is on top of all the other pieces that are behind, except for this little accent piece, which is the postage stamp, right? But anyway, this pirate has this pink sash, or I don't know what you call it, but it goes with the uh, paint chip. And then there's also this piece of map that has pink on it. So that is where, that is how I tied in the colors together. So now I have four paint chips and depending on my paper pieces, that would probably determine the color that I'm going to use. So I was looking through my paper pieces and I pulled out a bunch of things. This is what I pulled out. As you can see, there's lots of blues. So this goes with this. And this is a kind of a really indigo. That could go with this. Yeah, maybe that one. This blue, would it go with that? Possibly, that goes there too. Here's another blue. Here, this has got numbers and that blue matches really nicely. So that could also be something. So these were just little paper pieces that I pulled out and I noticed that right away they fit with, you know, some of these other, some of these paint chips. There's another one. This blue also goes with this player cigarettes, right? So there's a lot of options for that blue one, right? This was something that I received some postage stamps in, somebody sent it to me, but you can see what a nice combination of this paint chip along with this piece. It's just a piece of washi tape. Um, this is a rubber stamp or a, a postage stamp on the top, but then this little envelope has got a, just a rubber stamping with black, black ink. Can you see how effective that is? Looks so nice together, but this is my substrate and it has to be in this orientation, not this way. So I have to do something like that and this is not going to fit. So this I don't want to do. Um, also, I mean, these paint chips, they're almost the entire size of, of the substrate. And I don't think I want that. I think I just want a section of the blue, so I'm probably going to cut off um, just a piece that I want to use. But what color do I want to choose? That's, that's what I have to determine right now. So as I was going through my paper pieces, this I had pulled out last week and I did not use it, but I remembered that I had something similar in blue, so I pulled it out. It's again this kind of Italian 
um, I don't, is it Florence? Florence paper? It's so, so beautiful. I love these colors. They're so rich and um, just vibrant. And the colors go nice with this as well. Look, the blue goes. And also, interestingly, this purple goes. And I thought, wow, okay, I think I wanna use the purple because this is easy. This one is gonna be a little bit more unique. So I think I'm gonna stick with this color right here. All right, so what do I do? Um, I am going to cut part of this. Do I want to tear it? Yikes, do I want to cut it with scissors? It's kind of thick. What if I tear it and I don't like the way that it tears? Well, let's just try and see. Okay, that's all right. I think I will use that. I will save this just in case I, I need to use another piece. And I will also take away this. These are just some, I don't know, little other little pieces that I could possibly use. Another thing that I came across that might work is map. And I had pulled this one out for the blue actually, right? Because there's the blue in the water. But map could also work with purple. So I may use this little piece as well. But meanwhile, let me take a section of this and I will just, I don't know if I want this bird or not. So I will just go like this. Okay, this piece is quite big, so I'll have to cut it down even more, but let's see what I can do here. Another question I will have to ask myself is, do I want to keep the text or cover over it? I like this velvet curtain. That's kind of cool, actually. And down, it looks like... Let's see, I definitely want to use this section here. Okay, so this was the edge, so I will just cut it off here. Okay, so far so good. I would like something that would go all the way across because I want to use up more of this space down here. So let me go back to my little pile of scraps. So I could use some kind of text, perhaps. Um, maybe I could use a piece of this, perhaps. Okay, this is kind of looking good. I like this because it's a kind of a white. This is nice as well. I like the idea that there's this bird and then there's this song here. Yeah, I like that. I think I'm gonna do that. It takes up all of my space on the card, but that's okay, that's fine. So let me cut this down. And I also need to cut down this. So it's the last line of numbers. That's what I need to cut. It's easier to cut it this way. Okay. And let's just clean, clean this side up as well. Okay. All right. So I think I have all my paper pieces. Clean off the space. Clean it off. Okay, so I have this one and I have velvet curtain. 
I could possibly go this way, but let me test it this way first. And then I have this piece. And then I have this one. Now the layering, this is too big. It is too big. I need to cut it down. And which direction do I need to cut off? Some of this or some down here or both? Let me see. And let me play with this orientation again, just in case. That also works. No, somehow I think this just goes better like this. Okay, so let me cut off some of, I think I'm gonna cut off this edge over here and slide it over so it would be somewhere there and then there would be room for this. This is such a weird, edge here. I might, let me just see if I can cut this down a little bit. I don't know, it had, it had been, oh yeah, it would, had been punched out from something else and this was just a remnant. So let me just kind of clear it up a little bit here. Okay, so that, like this, this, and I will cut off this part perhaps or I could keep it long and just shift over the back piece so this hangs off of the edge of this this page from numbers does that make sense <clears throat> so my options are to keep this over here but to make this smaller so that this is coming to the edge or I can push this to the middle and have this hang out, hang off and then just have these two pieces like this. Now if I do that, I have a lot of, no, I mean it's balanced as long as I keep the balance the same on the, the border on both sides, the frame on both sides, I, that's totally fine. So I definitely could do that. And actually, I think I do want to do it this way because the more purple that I can keep on this, this piece, the better. Okay, now the last question I need to ask myself is do I want to add any additional rubber stamping to the back of this card? Could I add a purple ink and do something with it? Could I do this, for example, in purple. I mean, this is not going to show because it would be at the very base, but this is the idea that I'm going for. I wonder if I could do this. Is this going to is this going to show or not show? It would be kind of fun to have this in here. I wonder if I can shift everything over like this and then have it over here. How would that look? Well, there is one thing I can do to test it. So I have this scrap and I could see what it looks like by rubber stamping on this. Now I'd have to try and see if I could get the right color purple though. And I don't know if I have, let's see, I have these grape jelly. I think this is gonna be too purple. Let me see if I have something else. I have this elderberry. No, this is not the right color. I do have this. Now, believe it or not, I found these at Goodwill. So they were quite a find. Now this looks interesting. Winter Wisteria. Let me see what it looks like. And I don't even know if there's any ink left on these ink pads. Let's, let's see how it turns out. Okay, that's not dark enough. Let me try again. OK, 
Okay, that's better. So, let's try again. Start from the beginning. That would go here. Actually, this would go here. Then that one. Then this one. This one. And this one. There, how does that look? I like it. I think that works just fine. I think that's about as good as I'm gonna get with the purples. All right, so let me glue this down and then I will show you what it looks like. Okay, so here's how it's turned out at the moment. I see that there is a big gap of space right here and it's bothering me just a little bit. So I would like to put something in there if I had something like a gold star or a piece of something that was gold foiled, that would be perfect because there's already gold foil in here and it would just kind of, I think, pull it all together. But I don't have anything with gold foil, unfortunately. So the next option would be red because there's red in the feather of this bird so let me look in my little box and see if I have something small and red a very small stamp would do perhaps um, but it has to be just precisely the right stamp this one is just too busy, too many things going on here. Uh, it's not the right, they're not the right fit. Um, what else could I put in here? Gold. I remembered, look what I remember that I have. I have this gold foiled washi tape, which might be what I need. So let's see. Could I do something with this? You know what I'm gonna do? This is a little bit smooth. I think I can temporarily add this on or just place it here. What if I did this, something like that, and then I did the gold across the top? Would that work? No, I don't like this red. Don't like the red. Put that back on there. But I could possibly do this gold across the top, but then that would not solve this problem. Let's try this first. Gosh, that's pretty, so pretty. Okay, I definitely want to use this, but then I need something else. Now I need something else here, but the gold is taken care of, so now I can do another kind of postage stamp, possibly. But this is getting very busy. This is really getting to be a lot of stuff on here. I'm kind of pushing myself into a box, <laughs> literally and figuratively, because I'm cornering myself with this space and um, there's not too many options of what I can put in there. So I could possibly put the queen, because I have these colored stamps. I could play with a couple of shades like this. That would work or this would also work. This is matches a little bit too much. There's not enough contrast. Um, I don't have a red, a red queen. I don't know if I want to go with red though. Let me, let me see. Let me see. I need a red that matches the wing on that bird. And it has to be 
it has to be pretty complementary. It's more of an orange red. Let's see, and I don't want some guy. I would rather have some kind of design element. Let me try this one. Is that too much? Oof, that's too much. Hmm. Oh, a queen. The queen, the queen, the queen. What about this one? Oh, I wish it wasn't that mark red across. Let me see what else I have. I have this one. This is also very pretty. I could do that. That's nice. Do I want the red? I think so. I, I don't want to go with the blue. No, I, I really would like to highlight the wing. So this is a nice one. I could do this. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stick with this. This one turned out much busier than I had thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be a pretty simple three-piece collage, but then the layers just kept on coming, and that's what I turned out with. So now I need to label my divider. So what's coming up next week? Next week we have a form, blank or filled. I hope you're starting to look for one. Gather your pieces and I will see you next week.